This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. So you don't think I see them analyzing that data. But like I tell y'all every day, the data released us is false. Man, it gives a false narrative the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, as of about, I say 7.30 this morning, they already put over 1.5 million counterfeit ghost shares into play to illegally manipulate the price of AMC. And even though the cost of borrow is like 180, 138% or something like that, that's extremely low. And and this is just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. But that cost to borrow is extremely low because we all know that there's billions, I mean billions, of counterfeit AMC shares that they've showed into the market. There's billions of counterfeit ape shares that, that they've showed into the market. And, and the thing is, the FTDs keep piling up, and all they do is they hide them. And then they put more FTDs to cover these FTDs. It's a Ponzi scheme. And let me tell you something. If they're reporting an interest rate of 138, it's probably 338 or 438. So it's not even financially feasible to short these counterfeit shares at these interest rates when the shares are trading around $4. It makes no mathematical sense. So the only reason they keep shorting it's not because they're making money. It's so they don't lose money. It's so they don't lose money. They've gotten so deep, they expect the retail investors to sell. We have not sold, not to the level that they wanted, because they keep the, the fair to the livers, and this is just my opinion, the fair to the livers tells the story. The fair to the livers tells the story. It tells you that they are pushing counterfeit shares into the market and the SEC is aware of it, FINRA is aware of it, CFTC is aware of it, DTCC is aware of it, and what they what do they do? Absolutely nothing. They are not here to protect retail investors. We have to protect ourselves. And we, pe we protect ourselves by paying attention to what's going on in the market, by doing our DD, and by buying and selling, if that's what you think you need to do. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell, but I'm telling you that I am buying I am holding because based on all the DD that I've done, the information that they release us is wrong. It's probably a 10 or 20 times worse than what they're telling us. And on top of that, I believe there are billions of counterfeit shares. I believe the smaller hedges are going to be forced to cover. And like I told you in the previous video, I believe the big hedges are paying the cost of broad fees for the smaller hedges to keep them in the play. Because the minute they start covering it, it pushes it to the moon and, and the big headies end up in trouble. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, or YouTube algorithm. Tell me what you think. Is the cost to borrow at 138, is that the real cost to borrow? Do you believe they're giving us false information and the numbers are a whole lot worse? Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button. I appreciate y'all on your journey with me. God bless.